The leaders from Enga province have been asked to uh, come and have a meet uh, with Governor Ipadas and all of us. Much of these issues uh, on the ground also relates to issues that could be met by local leadership coming to work. Not just the elected leadership at the national parliament, but uh, from the floor up, the councillors. We're paying councillors now for the first time. No government has ever paid the councillors. Those who, uh, records of murdering people, slowly have been arrested one by one. Not directly, but one by one, and we have a crowd of criminals right now in jail being prosecuted as we speak. Under the current new bill that is coming up, police will have the outreach and power to do many things. Once a law is finally passed, we will announce to the country what the police can do. But in my view, that law gives police greater power not to harm lawful citizens, but those who are breaking laws. And police intel right now has been compiling uh, reports on those in Enga province, those in Hela, those in Southern Islands who have been known to hold gun and known to be causing problems in and amidst those societies. We don't send police up there to be community liaison officers. Uh, they must make arrests. And uh, the common feedback we get from police is that their lives are endangered and they're in the face of danger. We're now giving them that special protection. I don't know whether I've informed the country already, but there's a special police force to being prepared for special operation. They have an anti-terrorism outlook to them. The training going on as I speak in Bomana as well as in Brisbane for the Special Force. So, uh, we're, not, we're not playing up in this matter. It's, uh, it's left untreated, will affect our country's security. And so we're treating this as uh, terrorism and uh, terrorism on civilians and terrorism on national interest, terrorism on our country's interest. So uh, our special policy is being pulled together to deal with those who feel that they have gone and they could fight against state. Uh, rather the state must eliminate this from my way. So the leadership of the province will be met to, to inform also on our intention for state emergency as well as these operations. It will not be done in isolation. They'll be consulted, their views will be inputted into what we want to do so that together we have a handle on this one. Uh, sometimes we all have our own interests but our national interests and our collective interests uh, supersedes in my view our personal interests in this matter.